Hello and welcome to episode 113 of my Worm Unlimited tutorial series. This episode is to be on leather and drake hide armours. Now I know I've shown you leather armour in a previous episode and I even showed you studded I believe. But as we're doing a fashion show series of episodes um, moving through the different armours we thought we should show them as in uh, Rainstorm and myself thought it would be a good idea to just cover all the armours and go over them. So say hello Rainstorm. Hi everyone, Rainstorm here. Okay, so let's let me start by showing you how to make the Drake Hide armour because that I definitely haven't shown so far. For the record, Rainstorm summoned the components before you... No, I summoned the dragons. Oh, you summoned the dragons. Ah, right. Well, Rainstorm, sum... <laughs> Rainstorm summoned the dragons because obviously I am not strong enough nor is Rainstorm's normal uh, character to kill the creatures, which are Drakelins. Rain had to kill loads, didn't you, Rain? Yeah, I did. <laughs> she spent hours doing it, to be exact. For those of you that think I just slap these episodes out willy-nilly after five minutes, I'm afraid you'll have a rude awakening if you realise just how long some of the episodes, not all, but some of them take an extreme amount of time um, to get them all done. So Rainst poor Rainstorm had a taste of that today. <laughs> Mind you, she's well used to how long it takes to do stuff in Worm, but what it's what I do for your episodes. Yeah, what you do, and it's always appreciated. As you hear people remark and comment, I'm sure half of them or three quarters aren't watching this series because of me. They're actually watching it because of you. But anyway, I drift. So let's get back to the topic at hand, which is making some Drake scale armor. Now, in my usual way, I shall try to give you all the details that are important to you. The first detail is, okay, you will not be going killing drakelings. Not unless there are, I don't know, what, about 20 of you and your friends? Um, bec would you... <laughs> yeah, I mean, Smilo made me this wonderful set of uh, plate at quality level 90. And you know what, I'll be tempted to go test it once I've got the life tap on my weapon and once I get my weapon to 90 as well. Then I'll be tempted to go and see. I know I'll die, but I'll be tempted to go and see. It. So just so you know, you won't be killing Drakelings anytime soon. Not unless you get uh, your armor to 100, your weapon to 100, and then have a load of friends. But we had to, sh I wanted to show it because this series is supposed to be covering everything so and I want to thank Rainstorm because I wouldn't have done it really if it weren't for her being able to kill the dra uh, the drakes with her uh, um, her GM character so there we have it right so that's the first thing out the way now if I open this container you will see that there are bits of uh, hatchling drake armor so you see little tiny bits, the weights, and down here are big lumps of the armour. When you kill the Drakelings, this is what you get. You get tiny little bits of their armour. Also notice the four different colours, black, green, blue and red. Each armour, when Rainstorm shows, because we're going to be doing the fashion show after this, as usual, uh, she will demonstrate each of the different armors so you can see that each one is distinctly different in its color okay but also bear in mind that when you kill drake lens you will not get a big lump like this this or this you will get a tiny little piece like this this or this how many pieces did you get off of each drake Ling, rain you get one piece and they ranged anywhere for me because of my uh, butchering skill was only at 60. I was getting 0.58 to 1.85. So I didn't get a whole lot. And I'm just going to, I'm sorry, I'm going to correct you. They're called 
uh, dragon hatchlings. Oh, uh, of drake. course, yes, you yeah. Get, you get the drake uh, hides from the hatchling dragons. Oh, and there's thank you. Five colors. There's black, white, blue, red. Of oh, course. Oh, yeah. My mistake because I put white in my pocket, and um, because that's the one that I was going to use. Thank you, yeah, for pointing that out. So yeah, there's five colours. Sorry, I missed out white because I'd put it in my pocket, um, which was a recipe for disaster in actual fact. Because uh, I only did that because that's the one I'm going to make because it's the biggest lump. So yeah, you'll be killing lots and lots of uh, dragon hatchlings. Uh, you'll be getting lots of little pieces like this, and then what you'll do is put them in your pocket and combine them together to make bigger lumps. How much do you need to make a full set? Well, let's grab this white one and see how many pieces of the armor we can get out of a 11.62 kilogram piece. Okay, so let's put that over there. Now, the skill that we will be using for creating this armor is lever working, hence why it's in the lever working episode of this fashion show. Um, something else to mention, leather is what you improve the armour with. So once I've made the full set I'm going to demonstrate that we don't use the uh, Drake hide leather, we use simple leather for improving it. Okay so let's bring up the recipe window now and you'll see I've already put in there what we what we need let's close that window for the moment and bring up the skills so you can see and if we go into tailoring you'll see it's lever working that goes up so right okay now in order to make these armors you don't need any um, structures no um, nothing like the loom or, or the um, spinning wheel you just simply need a needle which i have in my backpack so let's you also find don't it need lye like you do for leather where you take a hide and use lye with it to make uh, leather right uh, thank this you this one becomes comes right off the dragon as a hide i mean as a piece of leather yeah so you can sort of wrap it straight around yourself okay right there's my needle so what i'll do is i will start with the um boot let's add that to the um, crafting window see just a needle in the hide that's all you need okay so let's add the hide and there's the list of armors that's good because it shows us the different difficulties of making the different pieces and I, I'll close that now and I want to start with the simplest and the simplest piece is the pants as odd as that may sound you would have thought actually well the gloves are the same 52% oh and the sleeves so three of them are the same but you'd have thought the boots would have been the easiest anyway so there we go let's start with the um, gloves in fact because that should use the smallest amount okay so we got a glove selected let's just create one or try well I should do because I'm on 42 with my leather working let's create Okay, so there's a white hide glove. Notice it uses 0 0.20 kilograms of the total material. Let's now make a the next one, which is the sleeve. That uses 0 0.10 more than the glove. Let's make the pants. that jumps up now to 0 0.50 let's now make the boot okay so that's dipped down to 0 0.40 let's now make the cap oh I failed let's try again See my tailoring and lever working is going up. Uh, failed again. Of course this is on 37% so it is more difficult. And we do expect failures from Worm, don't we? The 
believe me, I failed a lot because <laughs> my skill was really low. Was it? Yeah, I'll bet you did. So I ended up using a lot of high to make mine. Yeah, it soon adds up. Anyway, let's now try the most hard difficult, which is the Drake Hyde jacket. So let's create that. Oh, look at that, first time, first go. Right, okay, so that's the different pieces. Obviously, if I wanted to walk around in Drake scale, I would make two gloves, two sleeves, and two boots to have a full set. But as I intend to keep my prized plate set of armor that Smilo gave me as a lovely present, I shall just now demonstrate how to improve these. So we'll activate the lever and we'll improve the easiest which is the glove so let's see if we can improve there you go so as you can see leather is the material you use for imping them up as for the actual leather the drake hide leather notice i still have 9.20 and i started with 11 went 40 or something like that so it didn't use a great deal but there we go so that is creating the drake hide armors and improving them now what i'm going to do is i'll put them back in this pile for a rainstorm to decide what she wants to do with them maybe feed them to anchor's bear may it rest in peace Oh, of course it passed away, didn't it? Yes. Oh, well. I'm sure you can get another one. Right, okay. Now then, let's go and see where Rainstorm's hiding out at. And she can now show us what their mamas look like. Why am I walking so slowly? What's going on there? Do you have drapes, hides in Oh, no. It's all right. I've got the full plate set on, that's why. I was going to say those Drake hides are heavy. Check me out. <laughs> yeah, not as heavy as this plate set though. Right, okay, let's go and take a pew. I made a few changes to our uh, stage or our catwalk or whatever. Have you? you? Tell me what then, tell us then what you did. Last time we did not have these red um, carpets and we did not have the marble floor, it was wood. Oh yeah, it looks it's really stage. beautiful. Very good job. All right, let's I, take... thought, I thought it would look nicer with the um, marble statues and the roses. Yeah, it does. It looks very, very good. Okay, so I'm going to... Um, model all the leather armors for you. I'll come up to the front. Now this hat looks leather, but it's really not. It's considered clothing. And, but it did use leather working, but it's considered clothing. It's not considered leather armor. Oh, it's like an Indiana Jones, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, I, I like it. that hat. <laughs> I like that hat. I'm going to have to make me one of them. Okay, so this is what the full set of leather armor looks like. So that's just the plain leather armor that you get given now when you start a new character, yeah? Correct. Okay. And then now I'm going to show the um, studded leather. Yeah, it looks a lot more bulky, that's for sure. Yeah, I feel like a guard in this. They've done an... They've done an ex... Yeah, you do look like a guard. But they have done such an excellent job on the graphics of the armours now. I mean, you can see the little bits of studs. It's fantastic. Yes, yes. Especially the helmet. Done such a good job on the graphics. So now I'm going to... Um... Go to the Drake armor. This should be the white Drake armor. Oh, that does look very smart. Check I did. out this 
scale looking stuff on the sleeves. You'll need to come a little closer. I do? Yeah. Okay. Can't quite make it out. You want me to... Ah, yeah, there, that'll do. Now I'm not on the catwalk anymore. <laughs> yeah, now, though, I can see, and they'll be able to see exactly what you mean about the scales, how it looks scaly. Okay, so well, yeah, no, it's fine. We under we get that so now. That's white, and we'll go with the green now. Okay, if you step back a bit now, actually, because I can't see your feet. Sleeve on there. White's my favourite so far, definitely. Hmm, where'd my green sleeve go? <laughs> I can't find my green sleeve. No, you've lost the sleeve. I bet you pull it in a container. Oh, no, it's no, it's just the way I'm trying to equip it. It won't let me. Um, I have to actually unequip the white and then equip the green. It's mm. really silly. The green is your ranger outfit for sure. Yeah. And then the, let me see, there's a boot here that's white. Let me take the boot off. Okay, so this is the full set of green. Hmm. Again, that looks very cool. I do prefer the white, though. Yeah. That looks just like your EQ Ranger gear. Do you know that? Does it? Yeah. EQ1, that is. Okay, now I'm going to do the blue. Um, I'm going to have that same issue with the equipping, though. Yep, exactly. Why is my blue not equipping? Huh. Oh, because I'm trying to do the sleeve and not the glove. <laughs> mm. I thought this I was going to have a bit of trouble with this. Yeah, you see, it's when you, you're doing a video, things like your mind is on lots of things, and so it's very easy to make mistakes. Well, B blue is game, nice. Sometimes if you um, click equip, it will auto-equip everything for you, but sometimes it doesn't. So it, you have to take something off and put the correct one on. Mm. So there's blue. Yeah, blue, blue is definitely nice. I like when blue. I look, when I look down at myself, the blue kind of looks like blue jeans to me instead of blue scales. Oh, no, it looks like blue scales from where I'm sitting. Okay. Well, that's good. For me, it looks like a pair of blue jeans with leather. <laughs> no, it does look like scales. All right. And um, we've got, let's do the red next. The skirt bit looks like blue jeans, but not the leggings. See, it only seems to equip one side of me. <laughs> Oh, we just had a guard running by to sit down on another bench and watch. Well, nice. I guess he's uh, interested in it too. Yeah, well, he's thinking about an upgrade for his army, you see. Exactly. Let's see. Get rid of the boots and get rid of the glove. And then we can do the equip. Okay, where's the other red? Okay, so this is the full red. Hmm. Yeah, red looks nice. And black looks really nice, so we're doing that next. Well, so far, white is my favourite. Is it? Yeah. Where's the other black? There it is. So this is the black. Hmm. 
Yeah, the black is nice as well. And I know this is not considered armor, but it's still a fashion statement. A clip and a clip. I've got my quiver on. Should show. Oops. Oh, it's not showing. Why is my quiver not showing? The clip. The silly thing. Okay. So now I, you got my quiver. And my backpack should be on. Yeah. And if I'm going to go out hunting, then I'll want to use my, where is it? Where's my bow? It's looking for my bow. See, I'm surprised you didn't leave the green armor then as your one to choose for your hunting. Well, green is the one I would choose, but um, I was just showing everybody what it looks like when you have your quiver equipped, your backpack. Oh, I see, yeah, yeah. Bow. That's all yeah. I was doing. <laughs> so what have you got your bow skill up to now? Um, you're going to make me check. Probably not very high. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, let's not talk about that. <laughs> yeah, you've been slacking with your ranger. Actually, so this, sure. This character is not my ranger. My priest is my ranger. And so how does that up. work? What? They're allowed to use bows. Oh, are they? Yeah, but surely there'll be hindrance with what other things that they're not allowed, like, I don't know, the armour type, like leather. Are they all right with leather? Surely yeah. being a priest, they need cloth. Cloth, oh, yeah, so I can move. I'm not restricted. But then you're a paper ranger. Oh, stop. I'm a <laughs> do you remember? Ranger. Do you remember that with EQ? <laughs> yes, but I'm a long ranger, like a lone ranger. Oh, you're the lone ranger, are you? Because I use a longbow. So what am I, Tonto? <laughs> so that's it for the um, leather type armors and equipment. Okay, well, thank you very much for all the hours you have spent getting all of that drake hide and making all these armor sets and uh, combining all them small pieces. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And next week, uh, or the next episode, is going to be on chain armor. Hmm. I'm sure we're going to see some very nice armor then. Um, because you'll be doing all of the rare ones, won't you? Yes. Yeah, cool. Okay, do you want to say goodbye to everyone? Bye, everyone. I hope you have a great day. Thank you, Rainstorm, for making this episode uh, with me. And thank you for all the hard work that you put into doing it. Um, for the rest of you, wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Goodbye.